welcome to the kitchen aid kitchen i'm hanisha i have all our pasta attachments here we have the pasta roller and cutter set the ravioli maker and the pasta press let's begin with the roller and cutter set i'm going to first attach my roller place it into the attachment hub and tighten the screw so that it fits in place we have numbers running 1 to 8 here One being the thickest, where the rollers are furthest apart, and eight being the thinnest, where the rollers are closest together. So you start at one and start sheeting your dough, and as you go along, you move upwards towards eight so that you elongate it and make it as thin as you like. You simply pull out the knob, twist it around, and select the number. I have some pre-prepared pasta dough here, which I'm going to use. flatten it between your hands and pass it through we're going to dust it with a little flour to avoid any sticking Once you have a relatively smooth sheet, you can start thinning it out. Twist it around, move it to the next number. Similarly, keep moving up as you go to the desired thickness. Make sure you dust your pasta dough from time to time to avoid sticking and tearing. You can at this stage use the sheet for lasagna or cannelloni. Try your best to use the entire width of the roller. We can now remove the roller and replace it with a cutter. We have two cutters here, the fettuccine and the linguine. Place it, tighten the screw, and we're ready to cut our pasta. Now have perfect strands of fettuccine, which you could either dry up in knobs or hang it on the drying rack, which is also available with KitchenAid. The pasta and roller set cannot be immersed in water, thus you cannot wash any of the three. It comes with a brush, so once you've used the pasta attachment, let the pasta dry out, let it fall out, or brush it out, but do not immerse in water at any point. Let's move on to the pasta press. It comes with six different shapes in this neat storage case. We have a spaghetti, a fusilli, a bucatini, a large and a small macaroni, and a rigatoni, which is already inside the housing. You would idly remove the cap. and place the pasta of your choice put the cap back on and tighten it we can now fit the housing into the stand mixer 
It also has this manual cutter. So once you feed in your pasta dough, you can cut it at whichever length desired. For a spaghetti, you would let it run long and when you're doing a fusli or a rigatoni, you can cut it at one inch or two inches. I have some already prepared pasta dough over here. We switch it on. Here, our combo tool helps us to guide the dough through the housing and also when we want to open the cap, it helps to open and close the cap. You can feed little dough balls into the housing and we have an ogre on the inside that pushes it out on its own. We can gently guide the pasta dough through the housing with the help of our combo tool. If you see, our rigatoni has started to come out. I can simply cut it, place it on a little platter for it to dry. You can now make any shape of pasta at home. It's as simple as child's play. When it comes to the cleaning of the pasta press, ideally the housing is something you cannot immerse in water, so it cannot be washed. With the different plates, you can let them dry and push out the dried pasta with the brush provided or also use a toothpick or a satay stick. Uh, do not use any metal knives or object to push out the dough. They can be hand washed gently but not the dishwasher. The cap can be removed and washed and so can the ogre on the inside. But always remember not to wash the housing on the pasta press. Let's move on to the ravioli maker. Just like the other attachment, it fits into the hub, tighten the screw. We have a hopper here which we're going to remove. I have a ready pasta sheet here from before. I used the roller to sheet it out. Fold it in half and place the center in the ravioli maker. Twist the knob so that the dough is caught by the ravioli maker. Just drop the ends and place the hopper back on. It comes with a scoop to put in your filling. This is the only pasta attachment which is not powered by the motor and is manual. Gently turn the knob to pocket the ravioli and keep an eye. As soon as the filling goes down, make sure you keep topping it up with more of the filling. Here you have your perfectly pocketed ravioli. It not only pockets your ravioli but also seals the edges. I would now let it rest for a couple of seconds before I pull it apart. You can simply tear the ravioli away at the markings. With all the KitchenAid pasta attachment, it allows you to be the master chef in your own kitchen, making different shaped pastas, fettuccine, linguine, and also ravioli. The ravioli maker is not only easy to assemble, but also easy to clean. Remove it from the hub, remove the hopper, turn it around, and open it to get an easy access to the insides. Brush off any excess dough or meat or filling and then it can be washed with a mild detergent. Please do not put it in the dishwasher.